relative little stop at the water point. Um, we've, the tank was really empty, wasn't it? Really Very empty. <laughs> um, it so took about an hour to fill up. But what we tend to do is we're still using Edna, the little washing machine, um, but the washing has built up a bit this week because we've had to be careful with the water. So while we're, we've been there, the water had got hot cruising there anyway. I've done two lots of washing um, while the tank is filling up. So we've got all the washing done and now we've still got a full tank of water. Um, and while it's a bright sunny day, I'll get all the radiator areas out on the boat and um, get the washing dried hopefully today as well. So that was really productive. We uh, lifted the mattress off the bed the other day, didn't we? And uh, got a couple of bags of clothes out for the spring summer collection. I found this rather <laughs> nice fetching lumberjack check. We've obviously, we've got one, one tiny wardrobe and a drawer each, big drawer for our clothes. We can't have all our clothes out, it's either summer or winter. So we made the decision it was going to be summer. <laughs> and then what happened last night? Oh, it went down below zero. <laughs> but we've still, I'm now left with a big bag of winter stuff that's got to go back under somehow. But. Normally about now we'd be rummaging the charity shops for uh, new shirts and uh, the like, but uh, not to be this year. Well, it doesn't really matter at because nobody sees us. We could just wear the same old stuff every other day and wash it in between because nobody mean, knows. You don't, we don't already. <laughs> this is Rich's top that he's decided he doesn't want anymore and I've taken quite a liking to, so that's been recycled. So we were going to stay moored up near the water point because you can walk into supermarkets. Well, it's about a mile and a half still to walk to supermarkets. But we've discussed it and decided that we feel safer just going back to where we were and walking up to the little corner shop, even if it is expensive. So that's what we're doing. We're cruising along at barely two miles an hour because I don't want it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Making the most of Making it. Making the most of this gorgeous day. So this is our neighbour Steve. Stay away, then. <laughs> That's <laughs> our fun for a week done. <laughs> Steve has got his own uh, YouTube channel called Slow Boat Through Britain. If you fancy having a look. Link down below. So <laughs> his parrot comes out on sunny days to sit at the top of the boat. But um, yeah, we haven't seen much of him because we're still socially keeping our distance but um, we've said a few hellos over the last week and I think he's going to be our neighbour for another week yet and the cloud is where we left it all of a sudden really windy right I thought I'd do a little update just on how the plants are going so many people have been interested and asking um, me to show you what's going on so I'll just do a little quick tour and tell you what's happening next. Now the, the herb plants are still coming along nicely. The sage, mint, um, the uh, Swiss chard is growing on. Hopefully that will grow up a little bit more and be able to use the leaves. The courgettes have done really well. And um, these were in the newspaper planters that I made, newspaper pots. Um, the roots are actually coming out the bottom now and they've even got little flower buds coming on them. So I need to make bigger pots today and pot them on. Uh, rosemary is looking okay, just coming into flower, that's beautiful. My one little rogue broad bean, I don't know why I've kept him, but you can actually use these shoots in salads, so we'll probably eat that soon. These were the salad leaves that we transplanted and as you can see they're ready more or less to pick and I did put a little row of radishes in between which are just coming up as well and I've made a new sowing now morning I've made a new sowing in this trough and we've got kale and turnips and the kale we will pull the young ones out to eat the fresh leaves and then let a few grow on my problem is that we've uh, now run out of compost but I have a plan 
all along from the boat at the moment we've got um, these lovely molehills there's loads of them and the soil from molehills is actually really really fine I don't know how nutritious it is for the plants in the absence of anything else I thought I would use this stuff I'll just collect a whole pot of it and we'll use that for sowing in and see what happens and the other thing that you can do is uh, make liquid feed from nettles or comfrey comfrey is growing nearby as well I'll try and get a little bit of footage of it to show you what that's like and you just steep it in a bucket of water for a week it smells like mad so ideally you've got a bucket with a lid um, and then it, it is a really really good fertilizer or a liquid feed for your plants so again in absence of being able to get anywhere and get anything else we'll do that and it's completely natural um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed After being here now for over four weeks, we're finally on the move. We've uh, got to get a pump out, we've got to get water, we've got to empty the rubbish because there's a well deck full of four weeks of rubbish and recycling. So that's all got to be done. And uh, in order to do that, we've got to go up 12 locks. So uh, that's going to take half the day before we get to the top of the locks, probably three or four hours. So looking forward to it, absolutely really looking forward to it. It's just nice to be, be able to go somewhere different. The dogs are excited to move as well. I think uh, looking forward to having a good walk themselves. So Fran's going to walk them for a mile or so before we get to the locks. Two miles. Two miles, ooh. We also made a discovery this morning. We ran out of gas. We thought we had another gas bottle and uh, boiling water this morning for a coffee and the uh, gas went out so my toast wasn't toasted either and we were both convinced we had a spare bottle and we've always got a spare bottle we've never run out of gas have we i don't know how we did it i just don't know how we did it but you know it's a lesson to be learned just we've got the camping equipment haven't we yeah. so we've just got the camping equipment on out and uh, it's a good thing to have in standby i guess isn't it? camping gas stove so we've uh, hopefully the next day or so be able to go past um, a boatyard that's got gas or they're, if they're still open we've uh, put a call out for the gas boat who have been doing deliveries by road so hopefully they're going to come back and uh, tell us they've got some gas for us otherwise it's going to be an interesting next few weeks i will just have to eat cold food Rice, cold rice pudding and cold baked So the guidebook says that the aqueducts from the canal isn't much to look at but if you come down here to the river level uh, it's quite a little stunning bridge Whoa. and uh, <laughs> it's a bit steep so I've got to watch my footings but um, amazing that uh, they would build such things in such an ornate way that nobody's going to get to see and look at that just about to see it with the trees in front of it it's nice beautiful isn't it it's just a fantastic place and in fact we have uh, just said that this would be the best place to moor the views from the top and the canal are fantastic oh, stunning. and where we've been as you know we've loved it it's been gorgeous but we can't sit out anywhere because the towpath was too narrow and the walkers and cyclists were out but you could easily just come down here with your chair and sit and read a book it would be a fantastic place to stop and who knows if we can't find anywhere nice at the top of the locks we might just turn around and come back down again just to moor up here so it's oh. lovely oh and by the way i've given in gracefully and i've put the <laughs> string on my specs after not doing it for years um this is my only pair now so yeah we've got specky string oh, miss marple <laughs> Off 
coffee. I'm surrounded once again by wild garlic. I've got a bench to sit on. I just haven't got a cup of coffee. Rich? Oh, I'll go back up and make one, <laughs> shall I? It's perfect. Well, we made it up the locks yesterday and uh, we now moored here overnight and uh, fortunately we don't have to go all the way into the town of Macclesfield because there's a shop there called Home Bargains. Home Bargains <laughs> and they've got everything we need including compost for your plants. Yes. So not as good yeah. a view as we've had. <laughs> Only for one night that was though. Yeah. <laughs> we're not stopping here. <laughs> so we're just going to go shopping and turn around what find we're gonna some, do? turn around <laughs> find somewhere nice to moor in the quiet peaceful countryside we've this is only the second shop we've been in in a month <laughs> yeah um because we've made do with the little village shop that was at, at buglawton um you know i know you know we could have cruised off to find a big supermarket and it's cost us quite a lot to be honest the shopping daily well, shopping has been much, yeah. really expensive yeah. in there but we just felt that we couldn't justify moving just to get to a bigger shop but um while we're here we're gonna we've got four bags we're gonna stock up as much as we can there's a pet shop as well so we can get big bag of dog food and then disappear off into the quiet again and then the only reason we've got to move again in the next month is water yeah isn't it and whatever yeah we did do a little talk yesterday to camera when we were at the top of the locks and while we're doing the pump out and emptying the rubbish and everything else but somebody forgot to switch the microphone on you used to in the early days of videos you used to write numpty across the screen <laughs> when things like that happened yeah you didn't do I'm it i'm a numpty it's official <laughs> all right let's go shopping oh yeah <laughs> So we've done our shopping 
and we've moved the boat about three quarters of a mile to this beautiful spot. And we've got uh, woodland opposite us just here. You can just about hear the road noise um, very, very faintly in the distance. But the bird song is amazing. It's one, two o'clock in the afternoon and they're singing their hearts out. Still at it. So I think the dawn chorus is going to be fabulous. Yeah. Um, the alarm clock. We'll probably be moaning be about it at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and also the advantage here is that the towpath has got a quite a dip um, just before you hit the canal. Which means that if we want to do some painting, the um, walkers and cyclists aren't right next to us. We've got a two metre gap. Well, it's a good so. wide, good more than two metres width towpath here, so it's yeah. brilliant. So that's us. We're Thanks happy. for watching. We're happy as Larry. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that. And we'll <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.